Today's video is brought to you by privacy.com. My friends, you need to do safe shopping this holiday season, whether you're picking up the $500 bill guy that this video is about or anything else that you're buying this holiday season. Privacy.com allows you to create cards for individual merchants and for individual transactions so that you make sure that you're not just posting your same card number across the internet like you would a password that you use to log in on all websites. It's the safest way to shop online this holiday season. And if you use the link in the video description, privacy.com forward slash UFD, you get $5 free on your first purchase with them. So five free dollars to go towards anything that's in this video or anything you're going to be buying this holiday shopping season. And if you need more features than what's included in their free version, which comes with up to 12 cards a month, they have a pro and a team version. Pro is $10 a month. You get access to up to 36 cards and 1% cash back on purchases. And then the team version gets everything in the pro version, up to 60 cards a month, dedicated account manager. You can access everything that you need to tailor it to your business needs, but then you're good to go for a team. So pro team, but also free free. And if you use the link in the video description, not only do you get the free card number generator that privacy.com gives you, but you also get $5 for free. Check it out at the link in the video description. My friends, what I have behind me right here is probably one of the best PCs that you can build this holiday season. For $500, we are getting tremendous value out of this gaming rig. It's a micro ATX stuff, and I was able to build it with some specials on Black Friday, but I've also parted out this build so that you can buy the parts right now and get nearly the same performance for basically exactly the same price. I think the price difference between what I paid and what you'll have to pay is $7 between what I got on Black Friday. There's gonna be a quality difference, but for the most part, this system is gonna be able to rock it for you. And as we're going through today's build, all of the links to buy this stuff will be in the video description. We, it's an Amazon affiliate program, so we do get a small kickback, but I recommended these parts to you because I've already fit, purchased all of these. None of this was sponsored. This is all my own money for this $500 PC. So this is what I would personally recommend to you during this holiday season for $500, this system right here. So $500 all AMD PC build guide is what we have here. As you can see, already put the computer together in the Masterbox Q300L case, which surprisingly was super easy to work in, especially since it's only $45 regularly and then $35 after the $10 mail-in rebate that is currently going on. It's incredibly spacious, there's tons of room, but there's also no way to hide your cable management at the front, so you have to get creative and try to get everything in the back and hide all of your cables behind. But for the most part, because of the open design of the Q300L, it's super easy to work in. The dust filters on the front and on the top work well. The only thing that I probably have to complain about this case is the fact that the power supply insert is like in the case. And so when you try to like plug in the cable, you have to like kind of bend it in there. It's terrible. I hate it so much, but it that, that's a flaw that I'm willing to accept for a $35 case. But let's go over the main specs of the build. First up is the CPU. We're on the Ryzen 5 2600X. That's because Amazon was running a special where it was $120 on Black Friday. But currently, right now, the 2600 is on sale for $120. So for the same price, you're losing an X, but basically no performance because most of your performance is coming out of that graphics card that you can still pick up for about within $10 of what I paid for it. And that's the XFX RX 574 gigabyte model. On Black Friday, I was able to pick it up for $100 flat after a $20 mail-in rebate, whereas currently it is going for $109.99 after that mail-in rebate. So you're paying $130 up front, $20 back in the mail. There you go. And those are the main components of the build. $120 for the CPU, $100 for the GPU. Plus, it also has 16 gigabytes of 3,000 megahertz RAM for $58 is what I picked up. It's currently going for $78, but you can swap that out for a G-Skill Aegis RAM kit, which is $3 cheaper than what I paid for this Vengeance LPX. So G-Skill Aegis versus Vengeance LPX, what you are losing is cast latency. This is CL15, whereas the G-Skill kit is CL16. So it's not quite as good, but it's nearly there and it's $3 cheaper than what I paid. The Motherboard was also another great deal. I have the Gigabyte B450M DS3H 
Got it for $60, normally goes for $73, but if you want a $60 motherboard, ASRock also has their B450M HDV going for $60. Then we also have the power supply. Thermaltake was running a great special on their 650 watt 80 plus bronze, $45 when it costs about $62 new. If you want a $45 power supply, you're looking more at the Thermaltake 500 watt 80 plus white, so not as efficient and not as much power, but 650 watts is overkill for this build. 500 watts is more than enough. You're gonna be good to go there. And then one of the other great deals that I was able to pick up was a Samsung 860 Cuvo, one terabyte SSD, $87.99 is what I bought it for. It's currently going for $89.99, but you can also get an M.2 Western Digital Blue in case you want that for $87.99 as well. My total price for this system was $504.94, whereas with the replacement parts that I've mentioned, you'll pay $511.94. Four cents. But for $500, you're getting six cores, 12 threads, one of the best valued 1080p gaming graphics cards on the market, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and a one terabyte solid state drive. It's really hard to beat the value that we're seeing on the gaming market right now. If you're looking for a brand new gaming PC, this thing's gonna do a lot for you in that $500 region. So let's go ahead and talk about benchmarks quickly. I ran everything at 1080p high, and with the RX 570, we managed between getting 45 and 85 FPS, depending on the game, as you can see on the screen right now, with averages. Fortnite plays phenomenally 95 FPS. A newer game like Borderlands 3 only got 42 FPS on 1080p high, but you can lower the quality settings to hit that 60 FPS, or even potentially overclock the GPU, considering that it was only running at 1,270 megahertz, and I didn't overclock it at all. Nothing in this system was overclocked. The RAM was set to three gigahertz. The CPU was left at stock. The GPU was left at stock. However, if you are gonna run that GPU overclock, you're gonna need to turn up the fan speed because the temps in this thing were quite toasty. The GPU averaged 89 degrees Celsius, which is the thermal limiting point that is set on this AMD card. So not great there. The CPU with the stock cooler, which I vertically oriented by the way, because that's how it should ship from AMD. Anyways, not the point. That ran at 68 degrees. So totally fine there. No, no stress on the six core. Not having an extra cooler in this $500 build didn't really impact our performance whatsoever. And then that 860 Cuvo, even though this is probably one of the cheapest SSDs that Samsung does have to offer, it does well in sequential read and write tasks. We're looking at 562 megabytes per second read and 536 megabytes per second write. That's really good. The difficulty with Cuvo is that it's using QLC flash. So that means once you start running out of the caching that Samsung has put on their drive, you're really going to slow down. So it does have some bottlenecks that aren't going to be demonstrated in a sequential read and write task. But for the most part, for $88, it's really hard to go wrong. This is probably one of the better QLC uh, SSDs on the market. And for $88, one terabyte worth of capacity, I'd take that all day every day. So the Q Masterbox Q300L has enough mesh design to keep everything cool in here. Everything ran supremely well. I'm super happy with this for $500. It's kind of to, to, to even get something anywhere close with an Intel equivalent wouldn't even happen. You would not be getting six cores and 12 threads to potentially create something that could do content creation, such as streaming or making YouTube videos. The RX 570 continues to be the best value, cheap graphics card that you can get on the market. $100, that's like expensive GT 1030 territory, but you're getting a super capable AMD graphics card. I'm kind of glad that they've kept it on the market, even though I wish they would have updated it with a new card, but the RX 570 continues to be a champ. And don't forget to use the links in the video description to pick these up on Amazon. You can get them before the holiday in case you're trying to build yourself or a friend, a brand new PC for the holiday season, $500, there you go. But that's gonna wrap it up for me. What do you think of this $500 build? Could you have done better? Let me know down in the comments. Don't forget that today's video is brought to you by prophecy.com. Use the link in the video description, prophecy.com forward slash UFD. You get $5 for free on your first purchase with them. It's a great thing this holiday season. $5 for free, shop. Shop to your heart's content. Do it, my friends. So hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Get subscribed to stay up to date on all of our tech-related content. I'm Brett with the UFD Tech Channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see your smiling face again in the next video. Bye.